Well, Mayor, uh, Madam, Mayor, <laughs> Mayor, Katie, how, how is it, how is it going to be? How are we addressing you now? Um, I think everyone is settled on Mayor Katie. That's not what I decided, but it's fine. I had it on all my signs too, so. Well, it, you can't <laughs> pick your nickname, no, right? You can't. So Mayor Katie it is, right? Welcome. Yeah. Uh, Mayor's Monday here at WSAU, WSAU.com. I'm sure you've seen some of these, so you've got an idea yeah, of how yeah. it works, uh, over the year, over the uh, last couple year or so since you've been campaigning, um, First off, how are you filling out the office? Is it uh, comfortable yet? Yeah, so um, I'm the kind of person that usually doesn't decorate, um, but since I had to leave my office at Foot Locker, well, my desk at Foot Locker, my husband demanded that I move all the plants here. So we've got lots of windows, uh, so if you come in, you'll see plants, which I feel good about. So I think that's it for me. <laughs> and, and we've got, we'll show the flowers over here. Oh, we've sure. got, we've got some yeah. color over here yeah. as well. So. I didn't have vases, so we used jars. <laughs> hey, it's uh, it's creative and it works, right? <laughs> yes. So, um, and obviously in your job, you're going to have to be very creative at times. Um, Indeed, good segue. First off, we were delayed getting um, the <laughs> recordings because uh, Waterworks Commission ran long, so you have to be flexible as well. You've kind of got those things down, right? <laughs> Yeah, I feel pretty good about being able to pivot. Um, you know, I am having a hard time remembering what time of it, what time it is, what day it is. Um, I texted our police chief yesterday because I actually right there. If you ever feel like looking at it, I found this picture from 2000 of uh, the police department, and I sent it to him yesterday. And I said, "Hey, this is a funny throwback Thursday. Enjoy." And I remembered it's not even Thursday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's probably the one issue. Um, luckily, Kathy is an expert. Uh, she says I'm her fourth mayor, so she knows how to wrangle all kinds of different personalities. So we're learning each other, too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And as part of that uh, Waterworks Commission meeting, yes. of course, we got the news earlier this week, the wastewater treatment plants, something that uh, the bids came in over yep. what was expected. I know that was part of the discussion today. Kind of take us through uh, what happened with that. Sure. So we had a couple of things on that agenda related. Um, they were all kind of related. So the first thing was that drinking water treatment um, accepting that bid um, and that had already kind of gone through so and that was under the expectations so they the Commission voted unanimously to accept that bid um, and then I requested that we have um, some value engineering discussions so where can we save on construction where can we save on operations you know looking at that kind of thing and usually that happens with a third party um, so we had the discussion and then um, we moved on to talk about the actual wastewater treatment facility with the two bids uh, that were way over. So um, maybe not way over, but millions over, which mm -hmm. to most people probably is way over, right? Right. Um, so we had that discussion and, you know, I put my concerns out there. You know, we have five new members of this council and a lot of, and, and me, obviously, I'm new too. And we all campaigned on the fact that we want to do our due diligence. Uh, we want to make sure that we're turning over every stone. Um, so with the concept of value engineering in mind, we said, you know, we're not going to accept this bid right now. We're not going to accept the low bid. Um, but we are going to do is say um, our intention is to accept the lowest bid. Uh, but really, we want you to come back to the next meeting and tell us how you can save. Um, we want we want to understand where we can find actualize some of those cost savings. Mm -hmm. So um, that was amenable to the lowest bidder. Um, and then when we came back to the value engineering discussion, that's something that it's going to be an ongoing um, it's an ongoing thing. So we uh, we have directed staff to uh, look into these third party value engineering firms to help us uncover how we can have cost savings, usually in the form of operations, but there might be some other things. So. Mm -hmm. That is kind of where we're at. Obviously, the equipment that you're working with on these things, it's it's very specialized. Yep. Um, your predecessor made it known. A lot of it's outdated. There's sure. some DNR uh, regulations that need to be kept up as well. Um, so w where do you look at that when you look at these bits, saying, okay, where can we maybe save money in something like this? Is that something you're going to have to consider? Yeah, so we have a couple of alternates, especially on some of that big equipment. There's stuff that we have to have. Um, for that minimum viable project kind of concept. Um, and then there's some stuff that would be good to have. So, you know, we're kind of looking at, okay, what are those good to haves? Do we need to have it? So we're looking at that. Um, it is specialized equipment. And really um, what we heard today was that there are only two bidders basically on all of these projects throughout the state. Obviously not every municipality is coming up um, with these projects at the same time. Um, but now it seems like there is a flood of these projects. So Myron basically told us like, hey, 
Uh, if you uh, are going to put this out to bid again, um, don't expect us to bid on it. So, you know, there's a lot of considerations we have to take and, you know, we have good, we've had good partnerships with these developers and the, these construction mm -hmm. and engineering firms in the past. So wanting to make sure that, hey, we're in this, this is what we're looking for though. So providing that more direction is really important. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously uh, a very expensive project too. Yeah. We all know that the, the rates are probably going to be going up oh, yeah. because of this, uh, something that everybody's going to be paying in the next year or so. But you've also, um, earlier this week, you know, expressed concerns about the tax revenue that the city's going to be bringing in. Right. No question that that's going to be lower this year. Uh, is there any thought then to maybe trying to put this project on hold or is this something that's going to be moving forward? Right. So that's a discussion um, that, you know, the Water Commission, the Water Commission um, did not say put this on hold. Right. Mm -hmm. However, I, I mentioned in the meeting, I said, you know, we have new council members and I think it would be worth looking at this as a delay, um, at least for the next meeting. Right. Coming back, um, because if we were to send this through next week to this council, they could just say, no, we're not borrowing for this buy. So, I mean, asking people to, to spend all that money um, off the bat after they, you know, it, it is worth discussion. Now, I don't have a, a firm grip on the revenues that we're losing yet. You know, that's a request that I made to our finance department. So we're still working through some of that. Obviously, the county is in a little bit worse shape when it comes to um, sales revenues. So that's, it, it, it was drastic and, and, you know, you've seen the different associations come out saying, hey, you could lose this much money. Mm -hmm. But, um, it's, it's a little bit different with the city side, um, but we are definitely losing is that, you know, parking revenue and nobody's enforcing, or nobody's even parking, right? So right. you can't really enforce something that's not happening, so. But yeah, that's uh, certainly something we will have to keep an eye on over the yep, next yep. Uh, few uh, days as well. We also got the uh, reven or the word last week from the Wausau River District, something that you've been a part of mm -hmm. for actually double qualified now to be a part <laughs> of as as mayor and some. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to kick me off as vice president now. Maybe they will. But <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be in the mayor's spot. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 cross that bridge when we get to it. But the the report coming out last week that uh, you know roughly half of the downtown businesses could be. Um, closing permanently if this doesn't improve in the next five months. That's obviously something that a report you didn't want to see on right. day three on the job. Yeah, it's really tough. And you know, it's, it's not just about the, like the actual, like the shopping aspect of it, right? Like me going downtown and not having that business. And these are people that live here. Um, and it's really, it's scary for them. These are families that have owned businesses. These are, you know, it's, it's concerning. So the goal obviously is to make sure we can open safely um, and give good direction there. Uh, I, you know, I've been asking around, we've seen some of our other municipalities surrounding us giving out micro loans and things like that. So what can we do there to help, you know, a lot of it covers payroll or whatever. So things like that. We're working with McDevco to figure out what that looks like. Um, but again, this is stuff that you have to work quickly on. It, we can't sit around and, and wait. So making sure that everyone's up to speed on what we're doing and, and where that money is coming from, obviously, is, is, a, is a concern. And, uh, you know, I was talking about this with uh, with Blake Opal Husky mm -hmm. uh, last week as well, because Wausau has had, in the last few years, traditionally been a packed downtown, 97% occupancy oh, yeah. rate. If you want a, a spot in downtown, chances are likely you might not find something that fits your uh, your needs. That's not uh, something that we want to see wiped out in six months, obviously, right. right? Right. I mean, we've seen, you know, with with the whole mall situation, you know, <laughs> not being a thing for us, you know, where you can generate that tax revenue. Um, the Main Street really has been that anchor for us. So having, watching them go through this, it's tough. Them, us. I mean, it's us. So it's really tough. Um, we've seen the community come through in interesting ways being able to buy gift cards and things like that. But again, is that sustainable? Um, clearly, it's not sustainable uh, long-term. So really want to work with our local businesses. And and that's exactly the next thing I was going to ask you about was the situation with, you know, the possibility of some micro loans to cover a mortgage or to maybe cover some utilities or things like that. We've seen a lot of the communities do it. Uh, when could we have any word on if that's going to happen here right. in Wausau? So I'm asking, I'm working with a couple of the departments. I'm, is this feasible? Where do we, where can we get the money? Um, can we look at some draft uh, resolutions? Maybe can we talk about this at the Economic Development Committee level? What can we do here? And, you know, everyone has a different opinion right now. And I'm trying to get to know personalities and, and how hard to push people and things like that, right? But um you know, the answer really was, well, with DevCo is really, we're partnering with them. We've given them this much money to cover some of the stuff. So um, we're exploring it. 
you know, I want to make sure it, we're pulling the money from the right place um, if, if we were to go into it ourselves. So I would love to see that, you know, we have, we'll have a new economic development committee. I just made my committee assignments. So mm -hmm. um, we'll have new people there. So it'll be a discussion worth having there. Absolutely. And uh, any idea then what that could look like? Will it be $1,500, which is what some communities have gone with? Will it be 2000 Will it be 1000 right. mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that depends on where we're pulling the money from. So I, I want to have that discussion. And obviously, there's a criteria that needs to be met that we need to discuss too. We can't just be like, all right, here's your thousand, here's your whatever. So, I mean, that's a discussion I want to have uh, publicly, mm -hmm. um, especially at that committee level. And uh, it and it has to be enforceable like that because it's public money, right? Yep. And and you're elected for the people, and we want to know that the tax dollars are being used properly, correct? Yeah, we we have to. Like, there's no <laughs> there's no question about it. We just have to be. So mm -hmm. we have to make sure that everything is exactly the way we intended. Um, I don't want to surprise anybody. Mm -hmm. and, and again, have these discussions open and uh, transparently, which was something that you ran on as yeah, well during your campaign. <laughs> and, and I know it's, it's tough, you know, you feel like you're moving slowly. Um, you know, we, I don't know if you watched the city council meeting this week, but there was a big discussion, I think it was rule 6A, where um, mm -hmm. the, the the members wanted to make sure that we're enforcing it and they have their packet materials six days in advance and you know there's already been a couple of things coming up like oh can we make an exception can we suspend the rules and some of the stuff i'm just saying we cannot mm -hmm. <laughs> we just can't i can't say i can't we just had this big discussion it was a long time um so you know just getting into the habit of that good behavior that the council expects and of course I could bring them something with an exception and they could just say, nope, sorry, bring it next time. Right. <laughs> and, and it's moving at the speed of government, as we yeah. like to say sometimes. I in will this tell you, some of the stuff that's coming up is stuff that's from um, the previous council um, that has moved and now is through the process. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it gives me a little heartburn, like, okay, <laughs> yeah, it, we got to do this the right way, though. Yeah. And, and there, that's what we're here for in the media, too, to yes. make sure that, uh, that we're providing a <laughs> check and a balance. Keep an eye on us, <laughs> all of us. <laughs> Absolutely. One more thing before we let you go, then. Uh, talk about what your goal is for the mayor's office here. When people come to Wausau, have to deal with the mayor's office, what is it that you want to be portraying? And what are you hoping that, you know, your, your administration will become... Uh, known for here and making Wausau a great place to, to live and work. Right, so I think part of um, my big goals, we, I want to be professional. I want to make sure that everything we're doing, we have criteria for spending money, um, that, that the public feels that they're well informed. You know, there's a lot of government goings on and I'm, I'm discovering it now. Things are happening and what I really want to do is get on my phone and tweet about it, but I just can't like you came to find me and I'm like, I still haven't eaten lunch. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, um, you know, I really want to make sure that we're communicating with the public um, and in internally too. There's a lot of stuff that people need and I can't even tell you, this is urgent and I, I just, I can't get to it yet. So like mm -hmm. making sure I'm communicating well um, and that the staff is communicating with each other while working well. Um, there's some, some projects that I'm already seeing that, oh, this other group is working on this. Why not uh, pool your resources here and, and you know delegate it off to somebody? So it's it's been really interesting. So um, obviously professional criteria, uh, tra accountable, um, and you know I do want to make sure that I'm uh, working with the public as much as possible. Maybe on their neighborhood meetings, things like that. I want people to feel good about approaching me um, with their ideas, and so far so good. Yeah, uh, we're three, <laughs> four, five days in, and uh, and. The, the place hasn't burned down yet, so that's got to be a win, right? Yeah, yeah, and honestly, I don't think it's going to. I'm, you know, there there are some moments, <laughs> but it, it it feels like we're getting to a good place, and people are understanding the rhythm of how I work. Um, it's kind of weird being the new person, um, mm -hmm. but you're also the boss, so <laughs> <laughs> right. There's not really an onboarding process here. It's just me flying in here and saying, "All right, this is what I need." So, yep. you know, some people are 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 good with that, and other people need a little bit more time. Well, we will look forward to working with you here over the next four years. We'll, I'll hope you look forward to these monthly chats as well. And uh, yeah. we will we'll certainly be in touch as the situation warrants. Yeah, thank you so much. And thanks for continuing to do this. It's really informative for everyone.